Hi, today we're going to take a quick look at the MIDI support in Aerodrums and how it can be used to trigger VST drum plugins or record into a DAW. The first thing you'll need to do on Windows is set up a virtual MIDI cable so that Aerodrums can communicate with other MIDI applications. We recommend you download a free program called LoopBE1 for this. After installing it you should have a new icon in the taskbar notification area and a new MIDI port called LoopBE internal MIDI will be visible to both Aerodrums and your DAW. Now, having run Aerodrums, you should go to the MIDI screen. Make sure MIDI only is selected and choose the Loop BE port. This will tell Aerodrums to output MIDI notes to the port instead of triggering its own sounds. You can now go back to the drumming screen. Now let's go to our sequencer. I'm using Reaper for this demonstration, but you should be able to follow along using any other DAW. There are a few things you should check here. Firstly, you should check that your DAW is set to receive MIDI input through the Loop BE port. And you should check that you have chosen an audio device that will give as little latency as possible. In Reaper I use Wasapi, set to exclusive mode and a buffer size less than 128. This is the same audio device we recommend when running Aerodrums in non-MIDI mode as it gives extremely low latency. If you don't have this option in your DAW, another excellent option is to use ASIO in particular if your sound card has dedicated ASIO drivers. If it doesn't, you can download and install a free generic driver called ASIO for All. Again, when using this, it is important to set the buffer size as low as you can to minimize latency. We can now add a virtual instrument track and specify the VST plugin we want to use to generate drum sounds. In this demonstration, I'll choose Contact. So I'll load a drum kit from Studio Drummer Tell it to accept MIDI inputs from all ports and channels. And tell it to use the Aerodrums MIDI mapping which you can find on the Aerodrums website. At this point we can play Aerodrums and we will hear sounds triggered from contact. For recording use you might want to drag and drop a backing track here to play along to or you might want to enable a click track to make it easier to edit the drums or so that you can easily add additional MIDI instruments for example. I'll now go ahead and enable a metronome at 118 BPM, hit record and play a bit. So we now have our track populated with MIDI data. I'll bring up the piano roll so we can see this better. Here you can see all the notes corresponding to the different drums and cymbals I hit. On the bottom you can see the velocities of each of the notes, and you can also see the continuous controller data that corresponds to the hi-hat openness at each moment of time. From here we can easily clean up the data if desired, for example by quantizing the notes or by filtering out very quiet notes. So that's pretty much all you need to know to trigger external drum samplers and record using Aerodrums. Make sure to check out the Aerodrums website where you can download MIDI mappings for many popular VST drum plugins. And as always, if you have any questions, email us or post them on the Aerodrums forum and we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot for watching.